Hello, this is Sharon and you might think why is there the cupcake? Because you already made a video of this cupcake, so boring. Yes, I know, but there is something special about this cupcake. And it's not the outside. Let's uh, tell you this. I... I collect vintage Polly Pockets and I collect modern Polly Pockets, but not, not the, the houses or the, the mall or the, the play garden, only the pockets and the, the purses and the, and the piñata, only uh, this, uh, those uh, and even not a space Polly Pockets because I don't like space themed things. I don't like aliens. So I don't uh, buy them. I am, I have now 29 Polly Pockets and uh, 28 because I gave one to my niece. She was begging for it. So uh, I'm nearly there. I I know I have to buy some I have to buy the sand castle and the llama pocket and the backpack and the piñata I don't still have I only give it uh, to two girls for a present because I really really uh, recommend that uh, to uh, for a present it's it's uh, the largest set and really uh, the most adorable Polly Pocket and the most uh, surprising Polly Pocket because it it opens and you have a lot of confetti and it's really, really cool. Um, but well, what's about this cupcake? Why am I showing this again? I did my first repaint. Yes, I'm buying Polly Pockets, the modern ones, because I love the outside. The outside is just really great. I love it. I have, uh, I have no, uh, nothing to say about it uh, 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 to improve it. But I don't like the inside, as I, uh, I think I have said that many, many, many times in my videos. It's because there is a very lack of paint. It's not hand painted like the vintage ones. The vintage ones are also beautiful painted, and the the newer ones they just don't have the time or something. I don't know, but it's getting better because the the newer ones are having more paint than the older ones. This one is older. I think it's uh, 2018. Let's see. I always forget my head is not so good and where does it say right here 2017 okay 2017 so this is an old one already that's all already four years so i repaint this cupcake and this is my first very first modern poly poly pocket uh, repaint so i'm really happy to show you guys let's open up and I think if you have seen my video about this set, you know how dull it was and absolutely no color at all. And look at this. This was only white. So I made the plates blue, I made the pizzas, I made the, uh, I made the fries yellow, I made, uh, I made two clay cupcakes which is really nice and i made a jello pie and uh i painted the cutlery and i let the napkins uh just uh, being white and those two things those two things i didn't know what it was so i didn't know what to what for what color i could give it i think there are candles so I think maybe I had to paint this a little bit red, yellow, but I don't know for sure. So I, I, uh, it's just white still. And I have painted a very light 
uh, pink to the tablecloth and I love that because uh, this set has very hard colors like a magenta and a very hard green, no pastel color. So I thought it's, a, it's nice to have uh, a light pink, a more pastel pink. And I painted, you can see all those yellow dots that's also painted and the game is also painted this is this was this was uh, 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 this was magenta only magenta no color at all and as you can see I painted the uh, I painted this black and I painted the console uh, green and the stars on the top I painted yellow and the dots I painted green and also on the on the sides I painted yellow and green it was very it's very very hard to paint so it's you have to be very patient and uh, sometimes it doesn't go very well and you have to do it over and over again till I'm I'm a perfectionist so uh, I like to uh, do it very uh, I like to I only uh, give it a gloss when I think yes this is really what I love this is really what I what I want want it to be like and I'm satisfied so I painted also the other side I didn't paint the back because I can't come into this you can't remove it so you can't really paint it it's just an undoable job and also the arrows on this uh on this dance game i uh i painted the arrows yellow that was a really really tough job uh, i think i have done it like 10 times and remove it and uh, uh, again and again and finally I thought okay now it's enough now it's good now you can see two yellow arrows it's fine I'm good <coughs> sorry I have a bit of a cold still and let's go to the top because we are not oh you can see a lot of cupcakes on the background and yes that's what I painted I painted them, them just magenta and uh, white and I painted also all the blue uh, the blue things around the stickers and I painted this blue uh, oval thing and I painted this weird uh i don't know it's uh it's it's a it's a character it's a, a pineapple character or something like that so i gave him the colors more as a pineapple and green and black arms and uh feet and a red uh, mouth and it's a really cute uh and this this was all yellow Everything was yellow. Also the, the, the red dots. It was all yellow. It was really, really, really dull. And I painted the, the gumball machine. That, that was the color of the stairs. And I tried to, to have a closer view. Here you can see very very tiny hearts I painted all red and also the hearts here I painted red and also on the fridge I painted the doorknobs uh, red and uh, the notes uh, well I painted the, the dots red and also the doorknobs on this I painted red and the, uh, the knobs on the oven I painted a black and also the stoves I painted black and the doorknob of the oven I painted uh, yeah, red and I painted the hamburger and the fries and the sorbet and also here we had a, a dollar sign I painted yellow and I painted the clock 
because you couldn't see it was yellow you couldn't see there was a clock and now you can see easily yes there is a clock and also uh this thing uh, i don't know what it says it's just a smiley uh just so i painted it white and with a, a black dot and i painted the doorbell and i even painted the door mat uh, in an uh, a watery blue color and I think it matched very well and that's what I painted so I can't believe it, it took me literally uh, hours many many hours I think eight nine hours but I didn't do it at, in one day because I had to uh, let dry the the, the acrylic uh, paint is all with acrylic paint and when it was uh, covered very well sometimes I needed three four layers because uh, I don't know what my paint is but it's not really it doesn't cover very easily so um, it took me a while it took me a long time but I have finally finished it and I'm I'm very uh, very satisfied with the the table and if you have this set and you you can uh, have a look in there you see that this is a uh, quite a difference to what it was I don't have a photo <laughs> I did I forgot to make a photo like how it was but you can search on the internet and you can see it and then you see okay well this is uh, very much painted and I have one last thing to show you what is really nice and it's not really painted but I didn't like the, the the yellow things, cookies, whatever it was. Uh, it was a dinner plate with just a plate with uh, with yellow cookies and the plate was yellow. And I didn't like it at all. So I made from clay, Fimo clay. And it's, it's the same as polymer clay. Just two tiny cupcakes. Look at that. How cute is that? Okay, focus, focus, focus. You see? I really love that. That's so nice. And But I didn't do it in, in one day because for painting you, you need a sort of paint art muse uh to to let your crea creativity go and uh and not every day i have that that muse so it's not that i can do it uh all at once in one day i i have uh i think maybe three weeks or something and when i had a spare hour and I had a painting news then I started painting and it's really relaxing and chilling but I want to warn you if you are not uh, if you're not uh, if you haven't painted before it will be very very hard because it's not easy I use uh, tiny brushes like like this and even more tiny brushes I have um, I can't even find them so tiny they are <laughs> oh there you are you little one look at this very tiny it has maybe and those are very good brushes because it's uh, they are very uh, expensive and the acrylic paint is not that expensive. I use uh, a very, uh, I use this acrylic paint. It's very cheap. And uh, so maybe that's why it doesn't cover that much. 
and uh, I'm really uh, I painted for years I painted with oil paints and like this this painting this is what I paint when I was uh, a few years uh, ago it's a ballerina uh, so I'm really uh, I really have uh, painting skills for her to, to say it like that I don't want to be uh, <laughs> but I I'm, I just want to warn you it's not easy so uh, but just try it and uh, let's see if it will, how far you can get I also painted the scooter it was only purple so I painted some lights and some backlights and I painted the cupcake, uh, it was all magenta, so I painted a very little P from Polly, and also the other side, a very little P from Polly, and it's really, that was really a tough job, because it's so tiny, and I hate it that it doesn't focus, oh, look at that, so you can see it very, very well, I painted the seat blue and the the handles I painted also blue and the cupcake I painted white so it matched with it matched with the the background of the compact so this is what I painted and I also painted the karaoke system this was all uh, silver gray and I just loved it more that it was, uh, that you saw it was a, a microphone. And I painted the music notes and some stars and some not, some just some buttons and some tiny music notes. Really, really nice. So, yes, I'm really satisfied how it uh, came out. I was really, uh, I really love it. it. It's just now more fancy and it, it it's just come off more uh, than like it was it was so boring and this is really yes yeah, really nice but when I show it to my husband he said what did you paint uh, everything <laughs> no matter <laughs> I think if you know the Polly Pocket set you will see it <laughs> I hope. So this was it for today and I hope you liked it and if you like it just just give a thumbs up please and if you like my videos about Polly Pockets just subscribe to my channel and if you don't uh, subscribe or, or you don't like my videos I still make more videos because I like to show off my Polly Pockets. Bye-bye, have a good day.